If you've been following along today, you probably already know that the Galaxy S24 Plus and the S24 Ultra, which are powered by the Exynos 2400 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 SoC, have appeared in benchmarks. These Geekbench entries have confirmed some rumors that have been circulating for months. However, there is a twist when it comes to the version of the Galaxy S24 Ultra that will be available for sale in the US and Europe. It has also made an appearance on Geekbench with some results. On one hand, this benchmark confirms that in Europe the S24 Ultra will be equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset, while the base and plus models in the region will feature the Exynos 2400 chip instead. On the other hand, these new benchmark results present a challenge. Guess what? The benchmark scores for the European Galaxy S24 Ultra are actually lower than those recorded by the S24 plus Exynos 2400 model. Take a look at the screenshot. The European S24 Ultra, powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip as its US counterpart, scored fewer points compared to both its American sibling and the Galaxy S24 Plus with an Exynos 2400 chip. In single-core tests, the European variant reached a maximum of 2059 points, scored 4506 points in core performance. On the hand, the US variant, with the chip achieved higher scores of 2234 and 6807 respectively. Interestingly enough, the Exynos 2400-powered Galaxy S24 Plus managed to outperform its Snapdragon counterpart with scores of 2067 and 6520. It's clear that in terms of performance, it seems like the European version of S24 Ultra equipped with Snapdragon is lagging behind. However, we need to consider that these are release models or prototypes, and Samsung hasn't fully optimized their chips for their upcoming flagship devices. Therefore, it's highly likely that we will see benchmark results when the Galaxy S24 series is officially launched next year. To be honest, while these benchmark results may not hold significance now, they do provide some level of reassurance that the S24 Ultra will indeed feature the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor in all markets including Europe. So, it's too early to judge the Geekbench result, but getting some awesome performance by Exynos might be a good sign for the Samsung's upcoming projects. So, how do you like these new benchmark scores of the upcoming Galaxy S24 Ultra? Share your thoughts below in the comment section, and for more updates you can check out our channel. See you for the next time. Peace out.